guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. So hopefully you guys saw the summon video that I did earlier. I did manage to pull one copy of Goten. And I keep saying Goten and Trunks because I'm so like used to saying it. Gohan and Trunks off of the uh, tickets. So we have them here at 55%. I threw them on my link level team for a few runs while I was busy doing other stuff. So I love how we've got most of their links at 5. We even have Dismal Future at 6, but Legendary Power is only at 2. So that's always interesting to see. So these guys, uh, we're not using their leader skill. We're going to show them off on the Hybrid Saiyans team so we can have a full 170 buff. Uh, their 12 key super raises attack and defense, does colossal damage. And then the 18 key is greatly raises defense for one turn and does mega colossal damage. So the great thing about this is that you obviously can still get a defense raise from additional super. So additionals definitely are very good for them. And they are sort of a nuking style unit. They will change orbs to AGL. And then you want to pick up five AGL orbs in order to get their full buff. So you need to get five orbs in order to get the extra um, defense as well as crit chance and damage reduction. And then you also need the five orbs to be AGL if you want to get extra crit chance and damage reduction as well as the attack power. So what we're going to do here is we'll go ahead and do this. So this is an okay rotation for them. They've got five links active here. Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Perfect Battle, Fist Battle, and Dismal Future. So they're rocking 153k defense uh, before super attacking. So they're going to be up over 200k after an 18 key super. And we can get eight AGL orbs. So let's go ahead and do this. We're getting the full 24 key super as well. So no um, attack support on the rotation. They are getting some defense from the AGL kid Gohan. But let's see what kind of damage they are going to do here. What kind of attack stat, I guess. Because uh, we are fighting a tech enemy, and unfortunately they're 55% so they can't crit. 4.1 on turn 1 with no attack uh, support. That is uh, pretty decent for 55%, I have to say. Um, and then we get the additional as well. Wow, there you go. So, um, we don't actually have... Yeah, I'm just looking at their thing here. They launch an additional super attack guaranteed if you get 8 or more orbs. So that was actually obviously a very good turn. Because we were able to get 8 AGL orbs. So even at 55%, if you get 8 orbs, they're going to get a guaranteed additional super. And then because they're AGL, they do have level 5 additional in the free dupe system. So they can actually triple super on a turn where you get 8 orbs. So that is pretty good. Um, I think, have either of these Gohans been building up yet? I might as well put the friend one in the first slot. Um, I'm going to get the AGL Kid Gohan on rotation with this... Uh, ultimate gohan here just because he's only a defensive support unit but they work really well as a rotation together and then we'll be able to have like the str trunks floating who's going to share some decent links with the lr as well as um giving them the 40 percent support as well so they're going to look very good i also bought this agl pan just as a way to uh boost up our boy a little bit so yeah look at all these orbs <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab this and then we can get 13 orbs. Pretty good. So yeah, we'll get 13 orbs. Uh, what are we looking at here with the support? 178k pre-super. So they're definitely up over like 250k after they super attack. That's after the first super. And of course, we got enough orbs that we'll get the guaranteed additional as well. So pretty good. Um, tech trunks, of course, building up over time. A little bit outdated now. Um, the one downside to Global changing up the schedule, it affected this LR like it did with the tech LRs, uh, the tech androids, because the tech androids benefit from having the easy A's for those two free-to-play future androids, which Global doesn't have yet. And um, this team would definitely benefit from having the easy A for that tech trunks, because we have the easy A for physical future Gohan now. Um, I haven't actually done it yet. I did mention this on Twitter earlier. So if you guys are watching this video as soon as it goes up, um, I'm going to be streaming probably within the next hour to two hours uh, over on YouTube. So if you want to see me stream, I'm going to do the future Gohan Easy A. Um, so it's always fun to have you guys hanging out in the chat while we go through the Easy A. Um, I haven't really touched it. I think I did like the first stage just to set up my team. Um, so we need to go through and Easy A them. So this is just an, an initial... Um, perspective on the new LR at 55%. Uh, future Gohan obviously going to be a good addition to the team. Uh, one thing I do want to see, of course, is the exchange. But I think the um, 
Maybe the Hybrid Saiyans team is not really the right team to showcase this unit on to try and get that um, ability to go off. Because, of course, apart from the AGL Pan, every single unit on this team is really, really good defensively. Um, and we need to be below 58% uh, HP starting from turn 3 in order to get the exchange into uh, future Gohan. So I don't know if we're going to be able to actually take enough damage during this event. I probably should have just jumped straight into the GT Goku event, to be fair. Because, but... yeah, like, no one on this rotation is really going to take damage. Um, I mean, we'll go ahead and put the LR... Do they get any extra wounds from Gohan? They do get Saiyan Lineage from him. So, let's do this then. And then 12 orbs. Because this is the thing, right? They only need to get 5 orbs in order to activate their full passive. So, they're not like a proper nuka. Well, I say five, they need to get eight, right, to get the additional super. Once you get eight orbs, it doesn't matter if you get any more than that. They're not like a traditional nuka where each orb is actually giving you a little bit of an extra buff. You just need to get five in order to get this, the first set of buffs. It needs to be five AGL orbs specifically to get the full set of buffs. And then eight orbs of any type if you want to get the guaranteed additional super. But other than that, there's no other difference. So it doesn't matter if you pick up eight orbs or like 28 orbs. It, you're going to do the same attacks that basically so but yeah i mean obviously we're doing really well after the double super they basically have like 300k defense uh their attack stats pretty decent considering again they are 55 percent mostly level four and five links so looking pretty decent in the uh starting form here but i think we might have to jump into a uh, a, diff a slightly more difficult event or maybe with a slightly different team if we want to go ahead and see the exchange. So I'm going to go do that now. Okay, so we're back now with them on a Connected Hopes team. Uh, we're in the actual GT Goku event, so we can potentially take a bit more damage here. Uh, they do actually link up reasonably well with the Tech LR Gogeta. They get four links. Uh, obviously, it's nothing too crazy. but See, this will be an interesting turn because we can't see their full buff. Because uh, I can get five orbs, but it's not five AGL orbs. So um, that means we're not going to get the uh, attack buff. So their attack stat is definitely going to look a lot lower. And we couldn't get the orbs for uh, PyCon for the support. So um, we'll see what we can do here. Of course, uh, showcase both stages going into here, they were in slot seven. So we're, <laughs> we're on turn three when they have uh, finally showed up. But... So 3.44, so they're missing out on, uh, you know, just over half a million worth of attack stat from what we were seeing on the previous setup. It's not too bad, but obviously we don't get the additional. Is this going to finish him off with the crit? Yeah, let's go. That would have been very, very upsetting to not finish him off in that turn. That would have made us look uh, real bad there. So I bought the int future Gohan because uh, he'll be pretty decent to uh, link up once we've actually transformed. Um, I've got a very janky like team setup here. I didn't really bring a lot of units that are gonna, you know, design to work super well together. I just threw on some units that are on uh, connected hopes and time limit because I'm running the Tech Gogeo as my leader. Although of course I realise now the game auto picked a PyCon friend for me, and uh, I do not believe that this Gotenks is on connected hopes. So he's only getting the 130 lead from PyCon, which uh, makes his attack stats here. Not as high as they should be, but still actually relatively decent. So it shows you how good uh, that hero's Gotenks actually is. Uh, um, so yeah, I don't know. We need to get a super on somebody. Because with the GT Goku event, obviously he lowers defense on his super attacks in a lot of the phases. So we just need to get someone to get hit with a super and lose a uh, decent amount of HP. So we can actually go ahead and get the exchange. So let us, uh, we'll keep you untransformed, um, but we won't super because you might kill. So we'll go ahead and do this, and then we can get nine orbs. We've got the AGL orbs, so we know we're all good for uh, the full passive being active. We're getting PyCon's support passive here now as well. I always forget that the uh, tech, um, the sub getting the passive gave the uh, tech unit the two extra key as well. So of course they're additional. <laughs> of course they did so they're going to take him out um, we just need somebody to take a ton of damage but I don't know how easy that's going to be this physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku is usually uh, 
hits pretty hard. And especially with the fact that we don't have the full leader skill for um, Gotenks here, we probably could take a reasonable amount of damage. In fact, let me... Oh, I can't not get the... Uh... Let's do this and just not get the buff or the dodge for Pycon. See if maybe he can take some big damage at the end. Because I feel like everyone on this rotation is going to tank normal attacks reasonably well. We just need somebody to get supered. And yeah, double super from Gotenks again. 4.1 million considering he's only under uh, a 170 and a 130 lead. It's pretty good for him. Um, super Trunks is another unit that I literally just put on here. Because he has Trunks in the name. So he helps out the in future Gohan. Um, but obviously he's transformed already now anyway. But yeah, we're just not really taking uh, a lot of damage here. But let's go ahead and uh, we'll do this. So this time they won't actually super. And we can get five AGL orbs. We're not getting the eight orbs. We don't get the guaranteed additional super attack. But let's see what we can uh, put out on this turn. So still no attack support on the rotation for this one. And we're at 3.87, so not bad for 55%, uh, but I just, can we get this exchange? Because <laughs> it's so funny, because there are times where you come into the uh, Legendary Goku event, the GT version, and you can take a super attack on turn 2 and lose like half your health. And now we come in with uh, a unit that we actually want to be on low health as early on as possible so we can go ahead and transform because well exchange because not only do we want to exchange but we also then want to get the um ko thing as well so 142 yeah see that's still not enough <laughs> we're still not taking enough damage um and the icarus is going to activate so we're going to get extra defense here um i think what we'll do is we're just not super with anyone we won't get the support buff for Pycon either. So, if there was ever a turn where we could potentially take some more damage, it would be here. We do need a super attack from uh, Goku, though. So, I'm going to do a separate video showing off the uh, LR in the Legendary Vegeta event, but I want that to be its own video. Maybe I will use um, double uh, actual LR leads. I can actually use their team. Uh, the connected hope and bond of master and disciple team, but there we go. All right good good So now we can finally get the exchange. So let's go ahead and uh, Exchange let me make sure I haven't got the skip turned off turned on okay, good. Uh, Right, let's go ahead and exchange into solo future Gohan Pretty sure I've left the language in Japanese. I'm not a huge fan of the English dub of the uh, of their active skill Hey Trunks, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Trunks, your humanity's last hope. Right, so now that we have transformed into future Gohan, uh, so we get greatly raises attack for one turn on both of our supers. Colossal on the 12 key, Mega Colossal on the 18 key. Um, we foresee the enemy super attack when HP is 58% or less. And he doesn't have any defense. So he has key plus 8 for 5 turns from the start of the turn. Attack 258%. Gets an additional super with 8 or more key spheres obtained. Sees enemy super attacks when HP is 58% or less. And then he revives with an 85% heal. And then after the revive you have key 5, 58% defense and 58% damage reduction for the rest of the fight. So they obviously want you to exchange like basically straight away. Because he doesn't get... Um, he doesn't get any defense, so I kind of, I don't want to get any additional supers, so I don't want to get eight orbs, perfect, I can get seven, which still gives us the 24 key, I imagine we probably kill though, so let's go ahead and do this, what is his defense actually looking like, yeah 49k, and he doesn't raise defense on super or anything like that, so obviously the, um, he should kill, oh he took 90k off a of normal, 4.92, now, the awkward thing is we are going to be up against the Azaru next. And, uh, oh, he didn't kill. Yes, let's go. All right. He's got no level 3 dodge because only 55%. So, oh my god, Gohan's been killed. But wait. There's a cool active skill animation, I have to say. Well, revival, sorry. Cool animation. 
Powering up future Gohan. So yeah, now we have 58% defense and 58% damage reduction for the rest of the fight. So who has the most defense on this turn? Oh yeah, it's Gotenks by a mile. <laughs> the unit that I accidentally brought, like not under a full leader skill, has the highest defense, like by far. Um, unfortunately, can't get a super attack for him. So let's just go ahead and do this. I really uh, bungled when I made the uh, team build with... Uh, <laughs> Not noticing that the friend system had auto-picked a uh, Pycon for me instead of an LR um, Gogeta. Are you kidding me? We didn't get the additional super to finish him off, so now we need to dunk on attack a uh, basically already dead Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That's unfortunate. But we'll let this play out. And now we get to see a turn of uh, future Gohan coming up next. And we are against the Ozaru as well, so we're going to have type advantage. So it should be a pretty good turn for him. Uh, we're going to be on full health. Uh, now, the only difference is our links have changed quite significantly. But not hugely. But what are we sharing with you? Still four, actually. Um, in, but we'll go ahead and do this. This seems like a, uh, a fun turn to do this. I'm not sure how the links change will affect us, though. We probably end up losing out on a link or two. But I'll get the other future Gohan on rotation with him once he floats into this rotation. So... Fuse into uh, Gogeta here. That allows us to see supers. Because obviously I want to see Gohan tank a super here. Unless it's in the last slot. Okay, no supers. Alright, good. So, okay, we still get four lit. Yeah, because he loses one but then picks up Super Saiyan. So that's actually perfectly fine. Uh, can we get... We can't get eight orbs though. So this is the problem. Once he transforms, he doesn't create orbs anymore. So let's put you in slot one. Do this. Now we should be able to get eight orbs. There we go. So he gets a guaranteed additional super attack. And then we can't get the support buff and the dodge for Pycon. So I think what we should do... we should probably It's probably better to get the dodge for him because then we can actually super as well. Because he gets extra key from rainbow orbs. So this will be the future Gohan without attack support. Uh, with four links active here with the tech Gogeta. So... Let's see what uh, he can actually put out here. 5.3. Wow. That's pretty good. Now, the problem is, as you saw with this video, the fact that we went into an event that was too easy. Um, the problem sometimes will be with how easily you can actually get this version of Future Gohan out, right? Because you, know, you only need to get to turn 3, but it's the HP restriction that will be annoying. So you need to exchange into just the solo future Gohan, and then you need him to die, and then revive. And then once he's revived, then obviously he's looking uh, really good. Very solid attack stat for 55%, no support, only three links active. So I would say that is definitely pretty solid. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Um, I'm going to use an item here just in case we get super attacked on the uh, super trunks at the front but we'll do this as well to get some support here because on the next turn uh we are going to have the two future gohans together so we should have a uh hopefully we get some more links because this unit's links are a bit weird because it's gohan and trunks so they do kind of have an amalgamation of their links and then when he changes into future gohan i think one of his links changing to super saiyan oh it's super one of his links changes to super saiyan and another one changes to cold judgment so it's not a huge uh, change in his link set, but he should be working better here with the uh, AGL, uh, sorry, the in future Gohan. Because yeah, you have these four links and then you have those four. So actually him in the middle, he has every link but one. So let's do this. Uh, what is his actual defense as well? This is with no support. Uh, he's got 94k defense, so not a lot. Especially when you consider he doesn't raise defense on super attack or anything. But he has 58% damage reduction. So let's go ahead and grab these. And then we'll grab those for you. Uh, we should have no problem finishing him off here before the end of the turn. We've got a Whis active as well. So in future Gohan. In future Gohan's one of the few Dokon Fest exclusive category leaders that I've not link leveled. So I really should do that. But of course he's going to double super. Don't take him out. His super attack animation is still very cool, though. I like that. So, what are we going to get from uh, Gohan here? Yeah, 5.3 again. Because he's greatly raising for one turn on 
uh, the 18 key. So without a support, he's obviously going to be hitting the same attack stat. But, I mean, yeah, that's pretty solid. Um, we only got seven orbs, though. So we don't get the guaranteed additional super. That eight orbs thing is a real, like, nightmare. Um, obviously, if you're running one as a friend, they work really well on rotation together. But then, of course, the problem is... Um, the AG, the untransformed one is quite reliant on orbs as well. So, but yeah, I think we can leave it there. We got a pretty good first impression of what this future Gohan does. Um, can be a bit tricky to transform, I guess, depending on how lucky or unlucky you get with where you're being attacked. But definitely a fun unit. And I'm looking forward to trying him out in something like Super Battle Road. Super Battle Road, very easy to get to turn three and be able to transform because you've lost like half your health. So you guys let me know what you think of future Gohan down below. Did you summon for him? Hopefully you skipped or if you did summon, you got him pretty painlessly. Let me know down below what you guys think of Global's newest LR in the comment section. And like I said, I'm going to be going live to stream sometime in the next hour, hour and a half. So keep an eye out on the channel. Subscribe, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I go live. And maybe I will see you guys there. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.